For some people, buying a car straight off the production line is just not an option. Who wants stock standards when you can go custom? Budding engineers, inventors, and people on a budget are out there building their own modified rides, and the results are surprising. As they say, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Want to check out these insane handmade cars? Let's get it on! Lego Bugatti this is undoubtedly the greatest thing ever built out of Lego. Not only is this a full-scale model of a Bugatti Chiron, but it moves as well. The only non-Lego part of the car is the steel roll cage and original Bugatti alloy rims. Every piece of the luxury sports car, from the seats to the engine and even the brake lights, were made entirely of Legos. Over 1 million Lego Technic pieces to be exact. The team custom designed the models with a 3D modeling software, but when broken down, they were still building with individual original Lego pieces. Pieces. It took over 19 months of constant careful engineering, which I can imagine was one of the longest LEGO building sessions of all time. While the car generates only 5.3 horsepower and reaches a top speed of 18 miles per hour, it's still pretty impressive knowing that it weighs 1.5 tons and is powered by 2,300 tiny electric motors. Plus, let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be seen in a Bugatti Chiron anyway, LEGO or not? Bentley Tank we're used to seeing Bentley Continentals driven by rap stars cruising around on huge 22-inch chrome rims. Well, the Russian YouTube channel Academy G took it one step further and, not to be outdone, decided to go one better and put a set of all-terrain tank treads on their sweet ride. Dubbed the Bentley GT Ultra Tank, it's the perfect vehicle for when you're stuck in pesky inner-city traffic jams. When you need to get somewhere in a hurry, the 4-liter twin-turbo V8 roars into life as you literally drive over cars and other obstacles in front of you. How convenient. A quarter million dollar sedan may seem like a little extra, but <laughs> these guys want to roam through the wilderness in the utmost comfort and style. It's truly one bonkers build that would make Mad Max proud. Lamborghini there are plenty of Russian billionaires driving around in Lamborghini Aventadors. For those who don't have a spare million lying around and want one bad enough, there's only one option remaining. Bust out the tools and make it. It takes a special kind of skill and know-how to forge an Italian classic supercar out of thin air, and Ilya Strakolovsky is one such man. The base of the imitation Lambo is the not-so-fancy Nissan Maxima. There's almost nothing left of the framework as Ilya took to it with a grinder and welder to make his dream a reality. The exterior panels are all custom made according to the exact dimensions of the original. An M70 BMW 5 liter V12 has been installed in rear engine configuration to add that little bit of authenticity. G Wagon the Mercedes G-Wagon is an iconic ultra-luxury SUV that also comes with a hefty price tag. What do you do then when you lack the funds but have an abundance of another resource readily available all around you? A motoring enthusiast in Russia teamed up with a local ice sculpting company to solve this very problem. He used the chassis, frame, engine, and gearbox from an old UAZ 469 military truck and let the artist do the rest. The result? A fully functional imitation G-Wagon made entirely out of blocks of ice coming in at a chunk six tons. Blue LED lighting makes the ice pop and adds that extra bling factor. Temperatures are well below freezing in this part of the world, so there's little chance of this beauty suffering the same melty fate as Frosty the Snowman. Cardboard Lexus just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Lexus in Japan decided to try their hand at some next-level origami when they made an IS300 purely out of cardboard. It took over 1,700 individually shaped and contoured 10 millimeter thick sheets to create the fully functional replica of Lexus's best-selling saloon. The project took three months to complete, with each piece drawn in AutoCAD and precision laser cut to make sure the curves and contours of the car were spot on. It's not only the exterior of the car. The seats, dashboard, and wheels are cardboard too. The electric motor, drivetrain, and headlights are the only parts of the car not made of cardboard. Although it's a cool concept, it's absolutely useless when driving in the rain and would end up a soggy, pulpy mess on the side of the road. Rolling Car a beaten up 20 year old Volkswagen Golf isn't a car you'd want to be seen rolling around in. Unless you take that meaning literally, like the ingenious YouTuber Garage54. He took a humble old Golf destined for the scrapyard and gave it purpose and a new life in the form of a rolling stunt car. The body was cut down and shortened dramatically, improving the car's center of gravity and rotational force. They also welded curved tubular steel to the chassis subframe to make what can only be described as a snail's shell. The car is driven at high speed 
speeds before smashing the brakes. The sudden jolt then causes the forward momentum to flip the car forward, and the curved steel frame allows it to roll over and complete a full somersault until it's resting back on four wheels again. Looks like a bumpy ride, but fun nonetheless. Ripsaw who says you can't have the best of both worlds? The uber rich no longer have to pick between speed, style, comfort, and safety, thanks to the insane brainchild of How and How. Each ripsaw is custom made for individual clients in what can only be called glamping in a tank. This is the fastest armored track driven vehicle in the world. The older EV2 model features a 6.6 liter turbo diesel V8 motor, putting out a mind bending 700 horsepower and 975 foot pounds of torque. It does zero to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. That's as fast as a GT500 Shelby Mustang. The newer EV3 prototype is even faster, shoehorning a 1500 horsepower Hellcat V8 for even more insane high speed hijinks. Not only is it armor plated, it can tackle any off road terrain with ease. The downside is the $400,000 price tag, but if you're even considering getting one of these, it's likely that money isn't an issue. Splinter the speed of a car is ultimately determined by two simple factors, power and weight. The Splinter is an ultra-high performance supercar built almost completely out of wood. While most cars are made from steel and aluminum alloys to protect those inside, wood is much lighter and that reduction in weight translates directly into a blistering top speed of 240 miles per hour. Almost every part of Splinter is timber laminate, including the chassis, suspension components, and wheel cores. Even the immaculate in interior is made from checkered cherry tree skins. In fact, the only metallic parts of the car are the engine, gearbox, drivetrain, and the radial parts of the wheels. Though the Splinter wouldn't be classified as road legal, there's no doubt that the 427 cubic inch small block sitting at the heart of this beast puts plenty of power down on the asphalt. Cybertruck Notorious YouTuber Garage54 decided he was too impatient to wait for the release of the much-hyped Tesla Cybertruck, so in usual fashion he decided to jump the gun and just make his very own. After seeing the hype around the Cybertruck, Garage54 set to work on making their own version of it, and at first glance you might actually just think this is an unfinished test model from the Tesla factory itself. But take a closer look and you'll realize that this is far from any regular old prototype. Made from the body of a UAZ van and actual scrap metal, the polished angular body really does match the look of Elon's crazy concept. While not everything about the car is perfect, it's actually totally drivable, and has caused quite a stir on social media whenever passerbys in rural Russia see a car that shouldn't even be available in major cities for another year casually riding around. Vader Suicide Squad was one of the biggest hits of 2016, and although the Joker only made a relatively brief cameo, it was his car that stole the show. The theme song for the film was even called Purple Lamborghini as a tribute to the one-of-a-kind car. We've been led astray though, as the car isn't Italian made, but originates in the land of the rising sun. How is this possible? Through the dreams and hard work of Matt McEntigard, car designer extraordinaire. Matt runs a custom car shop with the idea of bringing supercar levels of luxury to the average consumer. By stripping down all the body plating of average affordable cars, he creates blank canvases on which to build whatever he can dream of for little more than the cost of fiberglass and paint. And with its sleek body and crazy handling on the road, it's easy to see why the Vader was the perfect pick for the kind of car the Joker might rip through the streets of Gotham in. For just $11,000, you too can roll around in your very own pseudo supercar.